What's up guys, Double Wide 6. I just got this uh, XT1. This is the one of those Cub Cadet plastic tractors. The issue with this thing is the guy tells me it keeps stopping. So it'll run and then it stops. So I tried to start it at the guy's house and it wouldn't start. So we'll see what it's doing here. Well, at least it's cranking. So it doesn't seem like it's firing, so I'm just going to check it for spark. So I got this thing unplugged, but I can't get it out of here. I'm going to have to remove this cover. Okay, so we're going to check for spark, and to do that, I'm going to just check with a different spark plug. Try and set this so you guys can see. Alright, we're going to set it like that. So we'll crank her over. Well, unfortunately I can't see if this thing's sparking. Should I play back the film? You guys can tell me if you saw it spark. You probably didn't see anything. Alright, right there. I should be able to see that. Alright, real good spark. So, the next step, I'm going to just pull that plug and you know, it could be the plug. It's definitely fuel in there. Check this plug for spark quick instead of just switching it up. Alright, see what we get now. Alright, it looks like good spark. So we got spark and we got fuel. See if it'll start. Just choking it. The 
next thing I want to do here is check for compression because we're not getting anything here. I'd like to see compression of at least 110, 120. Anything above that should fire up for sure. Start getting below 100, it's not real good. All right, I guess I can't hold it so you guys can see it. Well, we're at about a hundred and might be 115. So, yeah, about 115. So that's good. I'm going to spray a little uh, fuel in here. Um, it could be the fuel solenoid not opening. So let's, uh, let's just see if we can get this to fire. Usually when people have problems with their tractor, the first thing they do is switch the spark plug. All right, we'll see if that fires. Alright guys, so the problem is the engine will only run on choke, so it's a fuel problem. Our spark's good, um, and also the compression was, was okay, so at this point we want to look into the fuel system. Before I go ahead and just pull the carb and clean it, I'm going to switch the fuel filter and blow out the fuel line and see if that takes care of it. See how there's fuel stuck in there? That, that could be our problem. So, before I change the fuel filter, I want to blow a little air in here just to clean out the line. Sometimes grass gets in the line. And also, there's usually a screen in the bottom of the tank. So I want to do this without making a mess, so I'm bringing this up as high as I can. And we'll give it a little bit of air. I'm 
gradually increasing the air. So we'll try a new fuel filter. Well, we'll start it up. We'll see if it runs without being on choke. I'm going to choke it. It's still falling on its face, so we ruled out the fuel filter. Now we got to go and clean the carburetor. So we'll pull off this carb. One good thing about this Kohler Courage engine is that the carb's pretty easy to work on. Just going to mark these so I don't screw them up. There's two linkages. I don't think they'd fit on backwards, but better safe than sorry.
There's some wires on the fuel shut off. I just want to snip. All right, we have it off. So we're gonna go through this pretty quick. I'm gonna start by blowing it off. So this is actually the same tractor I, I worked on Feel like it was like last year it actually had a uh, transmission problem and the transmission's been great it leaked it leaked uh, fluid I believe all right so there's a little jet here There's also some sediment in the bowl. There's a little uh, washer on here. I'm actually going to need a, a punch to try and loosen up that pin. There's a little bit of rust on here. I think it moved a little bit. I think if I can twist it, try and hit it the other way. Well, that moved much easier, so now I'll try and pull it out that way. I'm going to need a drift punch. Yeah, I got this little punch set. It's pretty nice. I'll put a link to it from Amazon. Let's see. I think I'm going to have to put this in the vise. I don't want to break it. Let's see if this little punch can get it. moving ever so slightly. All right, we got it. It 
still need a pliers. It's amazing how tight these things can get. But the way that's rusted, it looks like there was water in the carb. With most carbs, you have like a, a jet that's screwed in here, a main jet, but this does not have any spot where you could put a screwdriver, so I'm just going to try and push it down from the top and see if it'll push out. That's not moving. Alright, so we're just going to go through and clean this thing up best we can. There's a lot of rust in here where the gasket goes. I'm going to try and get that out using this grinder. You want to get that rust out because it can actually cause an air leak there. So we're going to start spraying it out. There's two little ports here, and I'm going to try and get them opened up. 
Just using a torch tip cleaner. It's not really that much to this car, but it's pretty simple. So we'll clean them out and we'll spray through them. This is that jet I removed and it's actually plugged up so can't quite see through it so I'm gonna go through with the torch tip cleaner and a little bit of brake clean now when I Show this to you, you should be able to see through it. There you go. So I think that was mostly the restriction. Feeling pretty good about that because I kind of feel like I know what the problem is. And that's half the battle. All right, I need a new gasket. And I gotta try and find a new uh, gasket for there. So we're still working on the needle and seat here. I'm gonna go with the old Q-tip trick. We'll hone this out. Now for the needle itself, it wasn't leaking or anything, but I can see a little ridge in it, right on the tip. So I'm just going to lightly hone that down. I've been really successful in doing this, especially with those Briggs Intec engines where the carbs leak and it floods the crankcase so this is uh, 1500 grit really fine sandpaper and I'm just gonna get a little bit of oil just to kind of wet sand it. Doesn't seem like it's in the drill. Perfectly straight, that's all. That's it, that's all it takes. So 
So we'll quick put this back together. I'm going to have to tap that. Got our gasket our jet and washer Just want to make sure the choke's working. Full choke, no choke.
think that's it. Let's see if it starts. Well, we'll see what we get. Choke. Right, guys I'm double wide six and hopefully you found this video pretty helpful if you did give it a thumbs up give me a comment down below if you're not a subscriber think about subscribing I also put links to the equipment I used in this video down below take care everyone and have a good one